Holy Bible. So, there was a man who was from England and his name was called William Tyndall. William Tyndall, sometimes in the Bible you can see his name. He was the first man who loved God and he wants a lot of people to know about the Bible. So what do he do? He translated the whole Latin Bible into English. And that was under King James. That's why it's called King James Bible. So William Tyndall, he, when he translate, he go and collect the Bible, the Latin Bible to translate, the Pope from Rome, not happy. For so many years, he translated them to English, and one day, he get it printed even. So it's the first printed Bible, and one day, they got angry with him, they caught him, they killed him, they burned him. And he's only 43 years old, younger than Uncle Bawin. A little bit older than me. So, William Tyndall was the first one who wrote the English Bible and he was burned because of that. And today, we are so privileged to have the King James Bible, New King James Bible with us because of one person who sacrificed his life to translate the Bible from Latin to English. So this is interesting, right? When we hear about how the Bible was born, how many people do not have the Bible, they have to memorize it, how the Bible come to in our hands. So that's why when you have a Bible with you, protect it, love it, and read it. Remember how William Tindu translate word by word. Right? Okay. Oh, you have him, handsome or not, 43 years old. He must look very old at that time. So this is all about the Bible. And if you want to know more, come to our Bible school in GCC and ask Pastor Isaac for permission or sign in anything. Okay, those who are interested and Pastor Tree will also teach him. Now, this is simple notes about the Bible. So I want to ask a question very fast. I want to see who can answer. Sarah, please don't give out the answer. How many books are there in the Bible? Hands up. When I study Greek 20 years ago, I cried because it's so difficult. But when Uncle Bowen teach, it's so simple. So we're going to learn from him later how to read Greek. I don't know how. I have to learn again. So the Old Testament was written in what language? Hebrew. Hebrew. The New Testament was written in Aramaic. Aramaic. Okay? Aramaic. And the Testament means? Promise of a covenant. How long does it take the Bible? 1,500 years. Very good. How many people write the Bible? 40 people. Fast. That's the end of today. I want to move fast because we are late of time now. We want to what?
in the past and there's so much archaeology in the Bible. More than that, we're going to go further, search deeper and discover more truths about the Bible. You're probably thinking, what is archaeology is there in the New Testament? Well, everything that happened, happened somewhere at a certain time. Mm. People in the Bible did things different from us today. Different clothes, different food, and well, they did have cars. So, how did they travel? So yeah, at the end of this super club, you are going to know more and a lot more about it. Now let's go to the place where it all started. Who remembers the name of the place where Jesus was born? Huh? I'm standing here right now in front of a place called the Basilica of the Nativity, which is in Bethlehem. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a small village in the city of Jerusalem, in the country of Israel. He was placed in a manger, and many people believe this is the place where it happened. Many, many years ago, this church was built so people could worship in this sacred place. And it is a beautiful building with many interesting arts and designs all about Jesus and his life. Yes, that's right. Next place we are going to go is also a very important place and it's called Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It is important because it helps people to remember that Jesus died on the cross for us. The Bible says that Jesus was crucified at Golgotha where people who passed by could see what was Jesus. Well, after Jesus died and rose again, Disciples gathered in the upper room and received the Holy Spirit. And it was at a time called Pentecost. I'm standing here, which is the room believed to this, when the Holy Spirit came to the disciples. And it is in the city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is one of the oldest cities in the world and is so full of history. So many things have happened here, from the rise and fall of kingdoms, wars and celebrations. Jesus died, was buried and was resurrected in Jerusalem. And after the disciples received the Holy Spirit, Peter, the apostle, spoke to thousands of people and 3,000 people became Christians right here in Jerusalem. Wow. From Jerusalem, the apostles, the disciples, and the believers of Jesus travel further and further, making more, more and more the believers in Jesus. As more and more people believe in Jesus, God yeah, okay. chose a man named Paul. He had a dream about a man who called him to Macedonia. And Paul immediately went, but he fought and landed at a place called Neapoli. This is Neapoli today. After he arrived at Neapoli, Paul journeyed on to Philippi, where they delivered a slave girl through evil spirits. But they were in prison for that. But God saved them from the prison by causing a earthquake and the prison doors were broken and the prisoners set free! Right. That prison is believed to still exist here in the city of Philippi. After Philippi, Paul went to a place called Thessalonica, which is where the people of Thessalonians live. At Thessalonica, some Jews 
become jealous of Paul because more and more people are becoming Christians. Huh? Mm. To protect Paul, his friends rushed Paul out of the city before he was taken. It's believed that he escaped out of a high part of the wall. Today, the church is built at that place and it is called the Blood Tennis Monastery. Then, he went on to Berea, which is today called as Zeria. And Berea, we can see a beautiful place called Apostles Paul's Tree. Can you stop knocking the table? Right I can't here, the okay, okay. The city of Galatia. The city of Ephesus. And the city of Colossia. So children, there you have it. You now know most of the places where the New Testament happened. Mm. So now let's get back to our GK Hall and get some notes down in our Dr. Hammer just on the notes. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, are, are we in the right place? We, we, we're in the right place, right? No. Um, I'm supposed to come to the great discovery club. A uh, super club? Are we in Damai? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm supposed to lecture in a very super genius student's lecture today. Uh, are we in the right place? Are you sure? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, we are! Huh? Why? I walk from there to there to there to there to there to there to here. Now children, welcome to my class. I want you to remember, take up the bottle. Oh. Everybody say, oh. yeah. Because I walk so, so far away. Okay! Are you ready for the Dr. Hammer kiss of the nose? Yeah. Yes! Take out your pen! And everybody say, I have a pen! I have a pen! My wow, wow, wow! Okay. The pace when you turn the green pace over, it has places.
this morning because I wake up late and oh. did begging. You drink coffee or tea? Yeah? 